Hi, welcome to the wide world of trees. I'm Gene Bosler. I'm in Houston, Texas, and I'm looking at a willow oak. This is in the backyard of a residential property. And this is my handy rubber mallet. This is the sound of sound wood. This is the sound of rotten wood. Sound wood. Sound wood. Rotten wood. Any questions? Anyone want to challenge why I would recommend removal of a tree like this? My only question is why didn't it happen sooner? So, this may be obvious to a tree care professional, it may not be obvious to a tree activist, or to a tree owner. A tree does not need to be dead to be unsafe, or structurally unsound. This good 30 years worth of callus growth uh, provides plenty of vascular connection between the root system and the canopy above. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, the tree is probably more susceptible since its vascular system is healthy, since its crown is healthy. It's got more weight upstairs, and it's got more wind resistance upstairs, and it's more likely to blow over or fail because of the weight that it has. If you're going to protest the removal of a tree in your neighborhood, you might not choose this one. If you're going to climb up in a tree in an act of civil disobedience, I bring this up because John Quigley's in the news again. I would not choose this tree. even if it was a perfectly sound tree I would not choose this tree for an act of civil disobedience because it belongs to the homeowner and the homeowner can do with this tree what he wants whether it's structurally defective or not only the property owner knows best what's, what's the right thing to do with his property and with his tree you might not like that, but that's how it is. It's his tree. He can do with it what he wants. Most tree destruction happens because of bureaucracy and the democratic process and eminent domain and a bunch of other nonsense. Governments, state, regional, local, federal, can probably be blamed for the destruction of more trees than much maligned industry. Thank you very much for tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment criticizing me for mixing my politics with my craft. 